Gordie Howe International Mega Bridge. Ever wondered about a bridge that's not just a pathway, but a record breaker? Say hello to the Gordie Howe International Bridge. Nestled above the Detroit River, this giant is changing the game in more ways than one. It's not just a bridge, it's a gateway that's reshaping the way we travel, trade and unite. Before the Ambassador Bridge came along, crossing the Detroit River was no easy feat. Trains relied on ferries to shuttle folks across and it was quite the hassle. Then in 1929, the game changed with the Ambassador Bridge, just in time for the rise of cars in Detroit. Every day, over 10,000 vehicles zip across the Ambassador Bridge, carrying around $400 million worth of goods between Canada and the US. That's a massive boost for industries like automotive, where parts need to flow freely between Michigan and Ontario. But here's the hitch. The Ambassador Bridge can't keep up with all that traffic. With about 9 million vehicles crossing annually, it's starting to feel the strain. And in 2022, things went haywire with blockades, causing chaos and prompting friends to rethink our reliance on just one bridge. Manuel Maroon isn't exactly thrilled about the Gordie Howe Bridge project. When plans for it came up, he wasn't happy at all. In fact, he even went so far as to sue the government to try and stop it. Instead, he suggested adding another span to his own bridge. Critics speculate that maybe he didn't want to lose money from tax-free gas sales. Maroon's idea isn't the best. Adding a new bridge next to the old one could create security risks and cause problems if nearby roads need to close. Plus, businesses rely on smooth border crossings, with over a billion dollars of goods crossing each day. Having more options is crucial. By 2035, a new bridge could bring in about $240 million a year. Despite all the arguments and distractions, the Gordie Howe Bridge is still happening. Initially proposed in the early 2000s, the project faced significant opposition from the owner of the Ambassador Bridge. But in response, the Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority, a Canadian federal crown corporation, was established in 2012 to oversee the construction and management of the bridge. Despite legal challenges from Maroon, who claimed exclusivity rights for the Ambassador Bridge, the courts rejected these lawsuits, allowing the project to proceed. Designed by Eric Barons, the chief bridge architect at ACOM, the Cable Stay Bridge will be a sight to behold. It will feature two towering A-shaped bridge towers, standing at 722 feet tall, supported by 26 cable stays. With the longest main span of any cable stay bridge in North America, stretching 2,800 feet and a total length of 2.5 kilometers, it will rise 150 feet above the water at its highest point. The bridge will accommodate six lanes of automotive traffic alongside a dedicated bicycle and walking path. On the Canadian side, it will link to an extension of Highway 401, known locally as the Right Honourable Herb Gray Parkway. The parkway, which incorporates 300 acres of green space over 20 kilometres of recreational trails, faced challenges during its construction due to concerns about its potential impact on the last known habitat of Butler's garter snakes in Ontario. However, biologists work to relocate the snakes and protect their habitats. In the United States, the bridge will link to Interstate 75 with dedicated ramps, and three kilometres of the highway will be reconstructed and expanded. Overall, despite the challenges, the Gordie Howe Bridge Project is set to transform the region's infrastructure and connectivity for years to come. Widened local roads, brand new pedestrian bridges, and noise walls to keep things quiet. That's the plan to make sure the Gordie Howe International Bridge doesn't cause a ruckus in southwest Detroit. But wait, there's more. The bridge will have a multi-use path, the first legal pedestrian crossing over the Detroit River. It'll connect to local streets and trails on both sides, becoming part of the Trans-Canada Trail Network. You can stroll or bike across the bridge for free. And with border traffic expected to surge from 18,500 vehicles daily in 2016 to 26,500 by 2025, the Gordie Howe Bridge will keep things moving smoothly between the United States and Canada. Transport Canada's got the whole thing covered, with engineering firms on board to handle everything from design to maintenance. And if you're wondering why it's named Gordie Howe, well, let's just say it's a nod to Mr. Hockey himself. Gordie Howe, aka Mr. Hockey, was a legend in the NHL, known for his skills and toughness. The bridge honours his legacy by connecting Detroit, Michigan and Windsor, Ontario, two cities with deep hockey roots. It's not just about the name, though. Over the past few years, the bridge has seen some impressive milestones. 
Two towers reaching 220 metres were erected and built to last a whopping 125 years. And despite concerns about sustainability, experts found a way to extend the service life without breaking the bank. Concrete was poured, tower footings were laid and innovative techniques were used to combat gravity's effects. It's been quite the journey, but the Gordie Howe Bridge is well on its way to becoming a symbol of unity and strength, just like the man it's named after. The latest updates on the Gordie Howe Bridge project. There have been some major milestones reached recently, like the successful installation of the crucial TI beam. This beam is super important for balancing forces and was installed at ground level. No small feat. And check this out. Despite the corrosive climate near Zog Island's industrial district, they've got a plan to fight corrosion with a long-lasting three-coat paint technique. Talk about durability. Then moving on to July 27th, 2022, when the first steel anchor boxes were installed on the US Tower. These boxes are essential for fastening cables and making sure everything stays secure. The initial cost projection for the bridge was $4.4 billion, but that's been revised to $5.7 billion. And guess what? Today, the cost has risen again to $6.4 billion. But don't worry, the federal government's got it covered, acknowledging the challenges and covering the additional $700 million. Despite the delays due to the COVID-19 pandemic which impacted construction progress, there's a silver lining. The extended timeline allows for an enhanced community benefits plan and supports the local economy. With 11 million worker hours already invested and more to come, the delay is actually viewed positively in terms of economic contribution. Looking ahead, the next big step is to complete the connection between the two sides of the river. This includes installing the road deck and 216 cable stays that will support the bridge. And let's not forget the bigger picture. The Gordie Howe Bridge isn't just about smoother traffic flow, it's about reducing fuel consumption and emissions, paving the way for a greener, more sustainable transportation network. The bridge's impact goes beyond just logistics. It stands as a beacon of progress, ushering in a brighter tomorrow with a host of promising benefits woven into its very fabric. It's not just about getting from point A to point B, it's about building a better future for all. This bridge is more than just a way to cross the border. It's a game changer for the economies on both sides. By creating jobs and boosting cross-border trade, it's breathing new life into local communities. Businesses are thriving, seizing new opportunities and sharpening their edge in the market. However, the bridge isn't just about dollars and cents. It's a symbol of cooperation and unity between Canada and the United States. It shows what we can achieve when we work together towards a common goal. Beyond its practical function, the Gordie Howe Bridge is a bridge of cultures, bringing nations closer together and paving the way for a more interconnected global community. As we look toward the future, it's clear the bridge's impact will go far beyond its physical structure. It's a testament to what we can achieve through collaboration and vision, inspiring future generations to dream big and embrace the power of infrastructure. So while we eagerly await the ribbon-cutting ceremony, let's take a moment to imagine the endless possibilities that lie ahead. Stay tuned for more updates on the monumental projects shaping our world.